Hello, hello! How is everyone doing on this wonderful Wednesday? Luton, how are you doing? Kinman, how are you? Dog is going crazy, hitting his bowl because he wants food, but he already ate two, <laughs> two dogs worth of food. <laughs> two dogs worth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why so hungry? What a hungry boy. What's going on, guys? What's new? How's it going? Let me know if there's any songs that you want to hear. He's crazy for food. Is he one of those dogs that will just like <laughs> eat until he throws up? <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> I'm like, more, 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 and now I'm sick. <laughs> Great. Yeah, definitely. Aw, poor thing. So sad when they don't know any better and they'll just like eat and eat and eat forever. And by it's sad about them, I mean it's sad about me. Lover. What a song. Hmm, I've only played this once as all I've learned, I think. Ooh, and a little Wonderwall, great. Great. This one. Very interesting. Apparently there's no chords on Ultimate Guitar. Don't need to do it if I don't want to. I don't need to do anything I don't want to do. Christmas lights up till January This is our place, we make the rules Okay, let's do it. Why not? Oh, why not? Is Ultimate Guitar being forced to take down all their chords? What's going on? Okay. Taylor Swift got into fight with Damon Alburn yesterday. Blur, gorillas. Oh, what did they fight about? Tell us more. Tell us the tea. I don't think so. It's just specific bands that request takedown. But is it becoming more like popular? Like are more artists being like, take those chords down?
delicious and everyone who sees you wants you I've loved you three summers now honey I want them all Can I go Kinman, or I should say the random song. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your lovely emotes. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's see. Damon Albarn stated in an interview that Taylor Swift doesn't write her own songs because she co-writes songs, and T Swift clapped back. What was her what was her clap back? Does she write her own songs? I thought she I thought she co-wrote... I actually don't know. I have no idea. <coughs> I have no idea. Does she write her own songs? Or does she co-write them? And is co-writing not really writing? Because... I don't know. I feel like co-writing is still writing. She definitely writes her own, her own songs. Read and post that, it's usually co-written. Okay, so what you're saying is her song started being good when someone else started writing her songs? Is that, is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, just kidding. JK. Um, what? Oh, boy. If they at least take a significant part in the process, leave it be. People be petty. People be petty. <laughs> Have my sick burn. <laughs> sick burn, bro. Okay, my internet appears to be crashing. So, we'll see. Let me know if you can still see and hear me or if all of a sudden you cannot see or hear me. Because we're, we're having some... I think some technical difficulties here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Stream seems fine. Great. <laughs> oh, man. 
But actually, though, who actually writes 100% of their own songs? I feel like most people co-write their songs anyways. No problems on this end. Great. Great. Yeah, no one disses bands for writing together. Exactly. Like, I, I feel like it's it's a little bit unfair because it's like, even if you're a great songwriter, if someone else is like, okay, now let me write a wicked guitar riff for your song. It's like, oh, now your song has been co-written with somebody else. But it's like, you might have made the bones of the song and then someone else just added more instruments and stuff, right? So I, I feel like it's not entirely fair to diss people for co-writing. Like, I wouldn't know how to write a drum line for a song or, like, a bass line or a... Other than, like, a very simple, like, play the main note of the chord. Thank you guys for all your lovely emotes. 
can you even do? Yeah, to have mastery over multiple instruments is very rare, right? Yeah, so I feel like can cut can cut can cut T Swift some slack. Um, you can confirm the stream is now in stereo. Hooray! After all this time of doing it, just with one sound in one ear and another sound in the other ear. Damn. Does that mean everyone who's been listening to it on headphones has just had to suffer this whole time? Gosh darn it. Life's tough sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> Great. You don't know what happened? Um, when we switched over from the other OBS to this OBS, we never fix the sound, perhaps? M magic? Magic, says Luton. Magic. Hmm, let's see if I remember this song. Or just magic. Magic solves everything. This was the learn a new song I redeemed for someone else who didn't come back. Yep. Oh, man. Well, <coughs> at least it's a nice song. At least it wasn't like a horrible song that I learned. And, uh, you know, and then they never came back. At least it's a nice song. So at least there's that. Jack of all suits, hello. Welcome in. How you doing? What's new, guys? What's up? What's going on? How's this cold and horrible winter treating you? I mean, it's great. It snows all the time. There's so much snow here. It's, I feel like it hasn't snowed this much in since I was a child. I think it hasn't snowed this much since I was a child. I'm just going to throw that, throw that right out there. That's what I think. There's so much snow. Again today, more snow. And it's not just the snow. It's the snow plus the lockdown. It's like, it's snowing outside. You can't go anywhere. <sighs> right? It's just nothing. Just green Christmas and then like snow the rest of winter. Oodles and oodles of snow. Oodles and caboodles of snow. It's too much. It's too much, you guys. It's too much, the snow. I'm tired of it. And having a winter birthday means, you know, no pool parties, just snow. Just snow and cold and lockdown. Oh, man. I just want it to be summer again so I can frolic. Do you know how long it's been since I've frolicked? Too long. Snow parties? What on earth is a snow party? We all make snow angels. Actually kind of sounds like fun. Snow stuff. Snow stuff, you know. Tobogganing. I kind of want to go tobogganing. There's so much snow. It's like the perfect amount for tobogganing. Skiing is fun. Ooh, do you ski? I snowboard. I do snowboard. Snowboarding is fun. But, again, we're in a lockdown. So you can go snowboarding, but you can't 
go inside and warm up. So, like, I went snowboarding two weekends ago, and, like, you can't go in the chalet or anything. It's, like, it's just, it's just a whole, a whole darn day of skiing or snowboarding with no chalet because you can't go inside anywhere because of the lockdown. Oh, but it's ending soon. Next week, you guys. Next week, we'll be free again. Um, you heard it was fun. I tried it once. I would, although, do it again. It's it's pretty great it's snow sports to make the most out of out of winter. It's 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 pretty. I mean, it's better than not doing anything all winter long and being sad in your house for sure. Seeing is fun. Do you ski? <laughs> your tailbone is a kind of way, huh? Yeah, that's how it goes. The first the first day of snowboarding is always spent just on your butt. That's it. That's it. That's all you can do. Yeah, you ski? Yeah? Is that a yeah to skiing? I didn't know that. Let's go. Falling while snowboarding is terrible. It is pretty terrible. It's a, it's a hard zero out of ten. Yeah, skiing. Let's go! All snowboard, you ski. Luton, you come too. We'll, we'll meet you in upstate New York. Upstate New York has pretty great uh, hills. I don't snowboard, but I skateboard badly. I know, I was just thinking about you and your longboard last summer. <laughs> Longboarding around town. Are we being serious? Bet. Let's go. Let's meet in Ellicottville, New York. Is the border open? Um, I think so. I haven't heard about it not being open. My coworker just came back from the States, so I'm fairly sure that certain that it's that it's open. We'll figure it out. Also, I think they just won't let you guys in here, but we can come down there. Yeah, I don't think they changed it back. All right, that's great. We're, we're planning it. Done. Ski trip. We can escape. We can escape, but we just can't get back in. Here's a question for you guys. Would you leave the country that you live in and never return ever for $2 million? You'll get paid $2 million, but you have to leave your home country and you can never come back. But you can live anywhere else. And you can have citizenship anywhere else. Um, in this hypothetical, they're offering you, it's like uh, witness protection. It's like, here's your new identity. You get citizenship in the country of your choosing. You get $2 million to start your new life, but you can never return to your country of origin. <coughs> well, you don't have to go to the U.S. You can go somewhere else. It doesn't have to be the U.S. It could be anywhere. You could try to entice us. To go with you. I mean, you could come here. Wow, that, that's a no from everybody, eh? Okay, five million. <laughs> what if it was five million dollars? Would you leave your country and never go back? You get citizenship in another country and five million dollars. Would you do it? Still no? <laughs> What would be the price? Well, yeah, yeah, they can visit you. And you can travel everywhere else in the world. You just can never return to the country you came from. You can go anywhere else. You can live anywhere you like. Lotto Max is Max and Peota is 70 million, so give me that. 70 million or no. No deal. Wow. 
Y'all really love your countries, eh? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. I'll miss home games for my teams. That's the only negative. Aw. That's a good point. It's worth it to stay for your team. Two million only buys you a house in Toronto, and you're still poor after that. So definitely need more money. You, but you're not living in Toronto anymore. You're leaving Toronto to go live somewhere else. You could live in Thailand. You, you could do a lot with $2 million in Thailand. I would probably dip for 50 mil. I'll do it for five mil. Wow. Yeah, 50 mil. And it gets to the point. Like an extra five mil doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, 50 mil plus. It gets to the point. An extra five mil doesn't matter. All right. I see what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down. 50 mil is the price, except for Luton. For his price is five mil. <laughs> Okay, let's see. That's what I want. I haven't played this song in a very long time, and I don't really remember how it goes. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm missing out on Three months ago, right around the time the album came out. 
You guys, I got a portrait of Lil Nas X and it's hanging above my bed right this moment, right as we speak. I love Lil Nas X, let me tell you. Does it have blood in it? Obviously it has blood in it. <laughs> oh man, that was great. That was so great. And it wasn't even his blood, it was just like the blood of the people who made the shoes. <laughs> like That's so sad. <laughs> oh man. I love Lil Nas X, but I don't know why he thought Nike wouldn't sue him for that. <laughs> Does that say yikes or yikes? Like, Nikes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, that's it. That's how I get canceled. <laughs> Oh, that was pretty good, though. <laughs> this is why no one comes back. This is why no one watches your stream. Great. Thank you. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Whew, okay. Love the song, okay. Leave a boy who can cuddle with me all night, keep me warm, love me long, be my sunlight. Tell me lies, we can argue, we can fight. Yeah, we did it before, but we'll do it tonight. Afro black boy with the gold teeth Dark skin looking at me like you know me Wonder if you got the G or the B Let me find out and see It's coming over to me These days I'm way too lonely I'm missing out, I know These days are way too long And I'm no forgiving love away But I want Someone to love me I need Someone Nothing but love on my mind Need a baby with love in my prime Need an adversary to my down to marry Like, tell me that's life when I'm stressing at night Be like, you be okay and everything's alright Love me or nothing cause I'm not wanting anything But you're loving your body and a little bit of your brain These days are way too lonely I'm missing out Jack. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. You're too good to me. Thank you guys for all your lovely emotes. Thank you, thank you. 
<clears throat> what crashed? What crashed? Is something crashing? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, the bot. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. All right, well. It's what it's. That's, that, that's, that's all I can say, unless you can uh, fix it on your end. Unless you want me to try to fix it on my end. I guess I have. I have the power. Can I fix it while, literally while I'm streaming? Have I done that before? Oh, no. Oh, no. My chat. Oh, God. I've ruined everything. See if I can revive it. Okay, let's find out. Let's see. Um, let's see here. Man. I don't know why technology is so difficult. So gosh darn difficult. That's all I can say. Okay. Let's see if that helps at all. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, I can't get the chat working. Okay. We figured it out. We solved it. <laughs> okay. Is it any is it any better now? Any better at all? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. It knows it's chasing Dragonfly's bot, but it doesn't. How does this, oh. song go these aren't the right chords oh it's because it's a how to play it like that but anyways we'll just play it in an, in an in a normal old way oh my gosh why <laughs> why can't you just why can't you just work why obs why i ask you okay oh my god okay okay thank god Okay, I think we figured it out. <laughs> okay. All right, you you let me know how it goes with that bot. I, I think I've got the rest of my things sorted over here. Is the normal <laughs> what if I hmm I might play the song differently today I might just do it I might just do it with a capo let's find out see about that yay chasing dragonflies bot is back huzzah is that the original 
normal key. Anyways, okay. Jack, thank you for all your lovely emotes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. I like that green alien uh, g gifting a gifting a little a little heart thing. <laughs> I I like that. I like that little guy. I mean, I liked all of them. I like all the emotes. Well, that guy's uh, particularly cute. Loosen the. Shadows. Mm. 
If only I could spell. That'd be cool. <coughs> Whew. Oh, man. I wish this cough would go away. It's been 26 days since I first got COVID, and I still have this cough. Yeah, I'm still struggling with coughing and shortness of breath. And I'm not sure if I can smell as good as I used to smell. I thought that I could. My brother came over on the weekend and he was like, your apartment smells like cheese. And it made me think that maybe I don't have as good of a smell as I used to have before. Because to me, it did not in fact smell like cheese. extra chords in this song that are kind of unnecessary. I know the coughing thing lingers, but I also have had some trouble smelling stuff. Oh no! How bad is it? Is it just like a dull sense of smell? Or have you like lost your smell? Because I thought I could smell until my brother said my apartment smelled like cheese. Then I was like, maybe I can't smell at all, even a little bit. Who knows? And like, I think my sense of taste is okay, but I don't have anything to compare it to. Not bad. It's like changes in my smelling. Okay. Man, whoever thought that the apocalypse would come in the form of just like a really long, horrible, drawn-out pandemic. Damn. You can still taste. Good. Good. I was I was a bit, like, worried about that. I didn't want to think about it in the back of my mind, but, like... Oh, no, I didn't want to think about it, but in the back of my mind, I was like, what if I lost... I fully lost my sense of taste and had to quit my job because I couldn't taste food anymore? <laughs> And that, that was just it for me. Like, I, I'm sorry, I have to resign. I can't be a food writer who can't taste food. Or like, what would my reviews even be? Like, oh, this restaurant, the ambiance is great. The decor. Can't tell you much about the food, though, since I can't taste. Damn. It's possible. It's like super highly unlikely, but possible. What, to lose your full taste from COVID? Yeah, I couldn't get over it. I saw a video of a guy just like take an onion and just like, like just bite into it because he was like, I have no taste, no smell, nothing from COVID. It takes some people months to get it back. Oh, oh, that would be the worst part. Other than like, obviously, a severe case where you're like, life-threatening or on a ventilator other than that the 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 smell and tasting oh man just just brutal so brutal so frightening <coughs> if you had to choose one of your senses to be heightened what sense would you pick and it's like heightened as in like much much better than average but it's not like superhero level or anything like it's not x-ray vision you can't see through walls it's just like you can see a lot further than the average person and see a lot more detail than the av average person or like you can hear a lot wow you guys both pick sight Really? Hmm. Interesting. I feel... Touch is useless. Taste is useless. Smell is <laughs> useless. 
Oh, man. Wow. Really? You find all those things, senses useless. Taste is useless, he says. You wouldn't want to, like, taste a dish and, like, taste each individual flavor and be like, mmm, mm, I can taste, like, basil leaves and, mm, like, a hint of thyme and, like, ginger. Mm. Okay, what would you do with heightened eyesight? I think heightened hearing would be kind of cool. Just be able to, like, hear, hear, <laughs> just see better. Just see better. Okay, well. I, I would, honestly, I think I might pick hearing. You can see far away or find things easier. I'm not sure if you could find things easier, but you could see further away. You could see more detail further away. Good enough. Okay. All right. Everyone's entitled to their own heightened sense. Hearing would be cool, but it might create too many headaches. Better sight is all positives. That's a good point. You might get a headache from, like, really loud rooms if you had heightened hearing. Although, I feel like dogs are fine. They have heightened hearing. And they're not like, ah, my headache. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Who knows what dogs are like, but... Cigarette burn my finger Cause I forgot a lady Ripping with my sinners Cause fuck it man I ain't no beginner And then I crawled back To the life that I said I wouldn't live in Cause I just couldn't open up I'm always shifting To find yourself a man Strong and tall and Christian Pushing past the limits Ripping on a loose and a genics And my cigarette burned my finger Cause I forgot a lady Drunk and in Seattle Two more sands without a paddle I don't remember your face or your head I just couldn't open up on my way shifting Go find yourself a man who's strong and tall and Christian Pushing past the limit, tripping on the hallucinogenics And I crawled back to the life that I said I wouldn't live in Cause I can't Now through and through I've come undone And I am just but the way red man With my bloodshot eyes and my shaking hands Oh, cause I carry it on like the way red sun Thank you for the quest, Jack. Thank you guys for your emotes. Unfortunately, dogs can't defend that statement. They can't. 
They can't say crap. They can't say anything at all. Poor little doggos. Although I feel like if dogs could talk, it would just be like, feed me, feed me, feed me, pet me, pet me. <laughs> and that, that would pretty much be it. Um, the green alien is Kevin Chambers. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Today's a quiet day. Everyone's out enjoying real life. I suppose so. I suppose that's what people do, eh? Go outside. Um, from Kevin. <laughs> Not actually Kevin. Okay. <coughs> that's kind of what I figured. I kind of thought it was Kevin Chambers emote, not like an actual depiction of Kevin Chambers himself. Although, who knows? Who knows? There could be aliens among us and we don't even know it. Sure. We can call it early tonight. Why not? Why not? Should I, um, is, oh, great. Bored to death, excellent. Okay, let me do House of the Rising Sun. I'll do a little card reading, and then if there's anything else you guys want to hear, let me know. Otherwise, I can wrap up with Bored to Death, and we can call it an early night.
Thank you, thank you. I think you guys are all your emotes. You guys are too kind. You're too good to me. Oh, okay. Should we do a little card reading? A little card reading? Little little magic, a little magic intermission. What are you guys feeling today? Animal deck, crystal deck. What's what are you guys vibing with today? What is the vibe? Magic, magic, magic. Crystal, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna move these out the way. There's my crystal deck. Oh, I gotta be careful not to hurt that tiny, tiny life support plant. <laughs> oh, so close to being alive again. We normally don't do crystal. Yes. Change it up today. Do a little crystal, crystal reading here. I was kind of feeling crystal too. I, I feel like that's the vibe today. All right. What do the crystal divas have for us today? What message do we need to know from you, universe, and all your infinite wisdom? Cards are cards are sticky today. It doesn't know. It doesn't know what it wants to tell us. Come on, what have you got? Tell me, tell me what we need to know right now. What message do we need in our lives today? On this January day. Ooh! And there it is. Ooh. The soul connection crystal. Lovers. Ooh. Interesting. That's your final selection. If no one else makes it in. Great. Thanks, Luton. Ooh. The soul connection crystal. This is a master teacher card. Interesting. Okay. Do, do, do. The lover's card has arrived today as a reflection that a deeper love is flowing into your life. It could be an expanding love in your current romantic relationship or possibly even for yourself. If you have asked about a certain person, this card can reflect that this relationship is a soulmate connection. You may have been waiting for this kind of relationship to manifest in which you can feel a deep connection with another and now it has arrived. Whatever your situation may be, this card is confirming that you are currently attracting a soulmate connection into your life. This soul union is the deepest mirror and reflection one can experience. As you share this deep union with another, you often feel a depth of love deeper than you may have ever experienced before. This opening of the heart can sometimes be challenging due to painful experiences around love that have kept your heart closed because of the fear of being hurt. You are encouraged to work with the divas to assist you in healing these old painful wounds. Open your heart fully as you deepen your love for yourself and your beloved. This is perfect timing for you and a powerful opportunity to experience love and connection on a deeper level. Believe and know that you are deserving of this divine love. Allow this love to flow into every aspect of your life and open to the bliss and joy it creates on all levels. This card can also indicate that a friendship, child, or animal present in your life is a deep soul companion here to share love, healing, and growth. Woo! What a beautiful card for today. What do you guys think of that? Oh man, that's so great. You heard it. You are drawing a 
soulmate connection into your life right now. If you don't already have your soulmate, you're drawing one in. That's what this card is saying. Your soulmate is on the way. You are attracting that soulmate. If they're not already in your life, you are attracting that deep, deep love connection. It's coming for you. And if you do already have that kind of connection, this card is saying it's about to get even deeper, baby. Bring on the love. It's all about love today. So that, that's it. Open, open your heart and get ready to love deeply. Um, cause, uh, that, that's, that's what it's all about. The, the love is flowing. It's flowing into your life. It's expanding, it's growing. And with it, your love for yourself is expanding and growing. So open yourself up to it. Be vulnerable. Open yourself up to love, love yourself more and get ready to love another person even deeper than what you've had before. That's so what a lovely card. What a lovely card. That's so nice. <coughs> Kidman's love of Bon Jovi will now commence. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so good. Uh, oh, there we go. My cue for some reason did a little weird reset thingy, but okay. That's fine. Oh man, you guys, my, my internet is like really, uh, really quite painful today. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not impacting the, the stream computer. But my other computer is, uh, looks like toast. Toast! Yeah, the stream, the stream still be streaming. Thanks to my trusty Ethernet cable. Save your breath, I'm nearly bored to death and fading fast. Um, I don't think I can play this song. Shards of 
think I'm better at the minute that the rhythm was sat down. Said I'm sorry, I'm a bit of a letdown. But all my friends are daring me to come over. So I come over and over and over. Let me buy you a drink. Or pretend that you think I'm the man of your dreams. Come to life in a dive bar. Go over and over and over. Go over and over and over. Thank you for the request, Kinman. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for all your votes. Alrighty. What do you guys think? Should we do the last song and then uh, wrap it up for the night? Who shall we raid this evening? Is it weird to raid Amazon Music? It's currently a talk show. Um, well, you know how I feel about Amazon. <laughs> so, if you guys want to go there, we could go there, but... There's some big DJ streams right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're just ending. Loon's like, let me out of here. I just want to go. That's it. Done. <clears throat> We've never done that. I, I would take a DJ stream. I would, I would take a big DJ stream. Oh, is Keisha on? <laughs> Where am I going to go? <laughs> is Keisha Lily on? We can raid Keisha Lily again. I, I would take a DJ, a big DJ stream. Or if Keisha Lily's on, we can go there. I'm uh, easy, breezy, easy peasy, breezy mix deluxe. <laughs> You're down breathing. Luton, it's up to you. It's all on you, Luton. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she is super intense right now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> You guys tell me. You pick, we go.
healings every time I find myself inside alone all night. I'll be out and keeping you between my eyes. Then I'll be alright. I'll be out and keeping you between my guys so much for uh for tuning in and hanging out and uh just being you because you guys are amazing and uh you warm my heart oh yeah see you in february oh my gosh i can't believe it's february already holy smokes how are you guys thank you so much for tuning in it was so lovely to see you all i will be back next tuesday and wednesday 8 p.m est for more music and magic and mayhem all that good stuff. Thank you so much again for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!